Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Super here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a light in Roblox Studio. And this is super useful when doing buildings and just making your game and everything. So, there's a couple different kind of lights I'm going to create. One where you can visibly see where the light source is coming from. And then one that has, has natural lighting that you won't be able to see the part of it in game. Let's go ahead and start with a normal looking light. So, this one would be like, you know, on the ceiling. We could just make like a little wall basically right like dark under here to get the idea we have that there we can anchor it so it stays in place go ahead and make a part right go ahead and just make this a nice little square change the color and everything i'm actually going to group this because we're going to have multiple parts for a realistic looking light call this ceiling light and duplicate this part seeing it from down here will just be called light. I like to keep my stuff super organized. Go ahead and insert an object which is going to be light. There's different kinds you can do. Uh, I would probably do point light. But it just going to be that high. I think that's pretty good. It's already anchored. Move this under here. You can change, you know, the big light is in the range and all that. Okay, that's a little too powerful. Go ahead and duplicate this healing light. As you see there, it's like normal lights, which I think would work pretty well on the map. It just takes like a minute to make a healing light and then you can just copy and paste it. Show you another one, we'll be able to see this and it, you know, now you're gonna realize it's a part in the game. We're gonna actually call this transparent light. All right, insert object, which is going to be point light. Change how bright this is. Change the color if you wanted, but I'd probably just keep it white. But anyways, we're gonna make this transparent. Then we're also gonna make it so you can't touch it or collide with it. So basically, you can't even touch it in the game. I'm gonna anchor it as well so it doesn't move. Make it less light the farther away it is, but the more close it is, the more light it gives. We're gonna use the ceiling lights, which probably could be adjusted quite a bit. It looks really cool. And this definitely helps you out with your games. You can just duplicate the part or anything you want to create it again. And then you can save it as a model if you want, so you can just instantly pull it out in your other games and whatever else you're building. Just make a bunch of different lights if you wanted. That's pretty much the basics of it. Hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Smash the like button. Until next time, goodbye.